It's beautiful. So it's official. This is my, uh, my new home? You bet your silly ass it is. Well, I mean for the next 12 months, of course. <laughs> oh, and just a reminder, don't forget that when the movers show up, they have to park in this very inconvenient parking spot very far away from your apartment building to make sure your moving experience is as difficult as possible. Oh, that's okay. This is literally everything I own. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> anyways, we at Blah Blah Apartment Complexes wish you the best of luck on your new adventure of living on your own. I'm gonna head back to the office now. Don't forget, if you need anything, make sure to come in and say hi, or just give us a call at... <coughs> and we'll make sure to ignore every request you make. <laughs> we care deeply about our residents. <laughs> Dope. Huh? I wonder who that could be. A Girl Scout? What the? Yo, this bitch better have some mowers! <laughs> <laughs> Living on my own's great. I love it. I can walk around completely naked, and only the mailman will judge me. I've never felt as liberated as I do since the first time I gave up free rent, free love and support, and free food. Cause ha! Who needs it? It's something we all dream of doing since the first time we, uh, oh, I don't know, pick a fight with one of our family members over who drank the last of the goddamn chalky milk. <clears throat> Mother, no, you. But first things first, time to answer some fan mail. <clears throat> Dear Adam, when finally deciding to leave the nest, how do you find your own place to call home? From your number one fan, Talents. Aww, <laughs> he left a little picture of himself holding some fan art of me. He's <laughs> got like the little hoodie and everything. It's freaking adorable. Well, Terrence. Champ. Buddy. My one and only BFFWIRAL, that's best freaking fan who I respect and appreciate. Lit. I'll tell ya. Google it. Pretty fucking simple. A lot of answers on that thing, actually. Stop asking stupid questions, Terrence. That's literally what I did to find my place. I went on Google, typed apartments near blah blah blah, and boom, I found like a crap ton of potential new places. Only thing is, uh, <laughs> I found out that when it comes to finding new homes for myself, I'm like a YouTube commentator pretending to be a critic. I'm so goddamn picky. I got so picky to the point my parents didn't even think I was actually gonna leave. Every day I would walk downstairs and see them taping party streamers to the wall and my mom would ask, Hey Adam, you uh, find a new place yet? And I'd walk away asking, I don't know mom, you find my goddamn chalky milk yet? <laughs> they were uh, they were losing hope. I love my mom. <laughs> Eventually, I came up with a plan. I know what I'll do, I said with confidence, thinking I was incredibly smarter than I actually was. I'll just play eeny meeny miny mo to choose my next living arrangement. <laughs> you know, the children's nursery rhyme to help make probably one of the biggest decisions I will make in my new adult life. Turns out, not the brightest idea. You see, when I played this little game, I landed on an apartment that, on paper, sounded amazing. Two bedrooms, one for sleeping, one for working. Luxury modern home design. Gymnasium in the building for residents, and this probably being the best part. 1500 glorious square feet. In explanation for those still mooching off mom and dad, here's the reaction of your parents when I said that. Wow, what? That's an apartment? That's big. Holy sh- How can- Wow. Moving day comes and I proceed to walk into my new apartment building. I asked the front desk where my apartment was and they were like, ha ha, I don't know. So I went on a hunt to find it. Eventually, I ended up finding the place and I cannot stress this enough. Don't play eeny meeny miny mo to make your final decision because when I got there, the apartment was 1,500 square feet, but the website failed to mention that the 1,500 square feet all goes up. Looking up, I felt like little Timmy, but instead of falling down a well, I rented a tall, shitty apartment. Worst part was, it, it didn't even have a second bedroom. I mean, I mean, it kind of did, upstairs, but 
That was being covered by a huge gaping square hole right in the middle of it. That was conveniently high enough for anyone who rented this place and figured out, oh no, maybe playing eeny meeny miny mo wasn't the best idea to solve my indecisiveness. <laughs> uh. Anyways, did you know in order to survive, you need to eat? And did you know food in the fridge doesn't automatically appear every day like it did after school? Not even the food that appears out of nowhere after checking the fridge for the fourth time? Cause I didn't! For the first month of me living on my own, I just kind of winged it when it came to the whole grocery shopping thing. Like, I'd go on Google, search up different grocery lists, and see if I'll still be alive within a week. And okay, th these grocery lists are no help at all, I swear. You ever just Google up your groceries? It's always the same thing. Top 10 healthy foods you need or you'll die. Trust us, LOLXD, number one. Almonds, I don't know. Number two, stolen chalky milk. Number three, well, what do you think? I don't know, internet, tell me. What do I think, boom pop up ad. Next thing I know, I'm back from the grocery store now knowing what flavored ice cream I am, Nutella, with a new bag of groceries that I stare at for about five minutes and realize, well, none of this is edible. <laughs> I, t I till this day have no solution for this. I'm very hungry. <laughs> huh? Is that a knock at the door? I'm not expecting company today. I wonder who that could be. Responsibilities! Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think living on your own was going to be easy peasy lemon? It's okay to be stupid. All right, soldiers, stand up straight, eyes forward, and pay attention. Today we will be going into battle with one of the most fearsome creatures our world has ever laid eyes on. A creature so devastating, one wrong move could send you into a deep, eternal, and most likely sucky situation. So get your debit cards ready, remember your login passwords, and make sure your funds are covered because we are going in hot against our greatest foe, Bills. You live, you pay, you die. Sorry, I need to sit down for a second. Have you ever had to pay bills before? No, cause you're a child, probably. Well, in case you are a little youngin' and don't know, they are basically these letters or emails that you receive every month with the amount of money you need to pay for breathing. That and using stuff like electricity, water, the apartment you're staying in cause you know damn well you can't afford a house, you broke ass bitch, and breathing. Did I mention breathing? Bills rack up pretty damn fast. Faster than Sonic trying to find a toilet after eating a bad chili dog or seeing his new movie. You see, my YouTube career had just taken off, and like most, I was under the assumption that I was gonna be drowning in <laughs> lots of, lots of money. <laughs> Cause, I mean, that's what every hashtag YouTuber I watched made this job seem like, so I don't know. The only thing that was going through my mind while making this big decision of living on my own was that, haha, the money thing will sort itself out. <laughs> no biggie. You ever walk into a restaurant, order a meal, eat said meal, and then moments later realize, oh ha, I don't have my wallet. That is what paying the first few months of my bills felt like. Internet bills, phone bills, online passes for Nintendo cause Mario Kart bills, household bills, you name it. They all just sort of popped up out of nowhere using their mystical powers of, oh yeah, this stuff cost money to disorient me. Causing me to forget what needed to be paid when, how much needed to be paid to who, and if I even had enough to afford whatever the heck I was paying for. I had one trick up my sleeve though, a magical weapon of unbearable ego in which to hold my own against these wretched fiends attacking me and my wallet. That being the sword of YouTube cash money, 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 money. But alas, even with the power of Google AdSense on my side, I was no match for the gruesome strength of the mystic dark arts of potential hidden and late fees. Never realized how much my career depends on having constant internet until my internet was stripped away from me for four days. Devastating. I know. If I had any advice to give, I guess it'd be, uh, well, first make sure you have money. Duh. And, uh, always check that your payments went through, cause sometimes they don't. And the way they tell you isn't through the quick and easy communication software we all know as email, but through the extremely less efficient and oh so annoying regular mail. And because regular mail is garbage, you now have about one month of overdue payments to pay and will probably find yourself working for and or now a mob boss crime lord. Don't ask, just organize your crap. Also, uh, auto pay is useful. 
Go have fun all on your own and live your dreams, Adam. You're gonna have a blast, my parents said. Meanwhile, I'm cooped up in a tall-ass apartment, starving, cold, using the unpaid bills as tinder to keep my fire going while I lay on the floor sobbing because I not only can't figure out how to buy groceries, pay my bills, or make good life choices based on children's nursery rhymes, thank you public schooling system, but I also may have forgotten that apartments don't come with furniture. And yes, I'm saying this because I forgot that apartments don't come with furniture. Okay, but let's be real here. I spent like one or two days sleeping on the floor before I went out to Ikea and bought whatever I could afford on my one video a month, hoping it doesn't get demonetized or falsely claimed monthly salary. Which, shout out to Ikea, I got a bet in a couch. <laughs> Anyways, I know living on my own kind of sucks. There's a lot of responsibilities, learning curves, and most of the time my living conditions are not up to the standards of how most living arrangements should be. But I can say with absolute confidence that despite all the hardships that come with, well, learning, it's still better than living with a monster that steals my goddamn chalky milk! Thank you, YouTube viewers! I hope I scared you into living with your parents for 30 years! Good night! <laughs> Literally mid-production of making this video while on break playing a spooky gaming sesh uh, in the dark with Nintendo's classic Luigi's Mansion 3. I was then startled by an abrupt sound that came out of nowhere, maybe possibly making me pee my pants a little bit, <laughs> only to find out that my, <laughs> my IKEA coffee table had collapsed in on itself. <laughs> one of two, one of two IKEA furnitures in this household <laughs> is no longer with us today. <laughs> I guess that's my fault, right? I, I put too much stuff in the middle part of it. <laughs> Adding Scott Pilgrim versus the World's uh, book collection on top of it didn't really help with the weight distribution. And uh, <laughs> it, killed my, it killed my coffee table. Dang it. What do you gotta, what do you gotta say about this, Thurnus? You're right. That, uh, that's a great input. It's my puppy. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs>